Hello everyone, welcome to our new video. Our Facebook ad series is going on. If you want to watch the whole series, you can come to our channel and watch those videos from here. Okay, so in today's lecture, we'll show you how to set up Facebook pixel for add to cut event. So without wasting any time, let's see how we can do it. So we'll be setting up add to cut event for this website. So you can see over here, this is an e-commerce site. So if a user click one of the products and add some products to the cart, then I want to track add to cut event, okay? So I have set up a Google Tag Manager account with the website name. You can see over here, e-commerce analytical growth. And in the previous videos, I have shown you how to set up Facebook base pixel and Facebook view content event, okay? And in this video, we'll show you how to set up Facebook add to cart event, okay? So first of all, we need to set up all the variables. Then we'll be creating all the necessary triggers. And at the last, we'll create necessary tags you know so we'll be creating those variables from data layer schema we'll be collecting those variables from our data layer schema so for getting the data layer schema we'll click on preview section okay then i need to provide my set url over here and i'm gonna click on connect And if I scroll down and select one of the products, like I'm going to select this one. And I will add this product to the cart. Then I'll go to the tag assistant. You'll see an add to cart event is firing. So I'm going to click on it and I'll go to the data layer section. And if you see, this is the data layer schema for add to cut event okay so if you have seen my previous video where i have shown you how to set up a uh, view content event okay so the data layer schema for view content and add to cut are same you can see over here so e-commerce and under e-commerce we have items and inside items we have all the necessary uh, parameters like item id item name price you know so if i take items uh, from this section then all the necessary parameters will be covered okay so if you don't know how to read data layer then uh, see my previous video where i have shown you uh, i how to create data layer variables from this schema so what you need to do you need to take e-commerce then items dot zero dot item id similarly for item name e-commerce dot items dot zero dot item name and for price e-commerce dot items dot zero dot price okay so this is the procedure as i already uh, created all the necessary variables for view content so i don't need to create another variables for add to cart because those schemas are same for add to cart and view content so if i try to show you then if i click on item name item name is basically product name you know so you can see over here e-commerce dot item dot zero dot item name so if i go to the data layer section then you will be able to see e-commerce dot items then this is uh, an array item is an array and an array's object starts from zero that's why i have uh, given zero over here you know e-commerce dot item dot zero dot item name so this is for item name and similarly if i go to the item id then you will be able to see e-commerce dot items dot zero dot item id then if i go to the item value then you'll be able to see e-commerce dot item dot zero dot price so price is basically value over here and currency is basically e-commerce dot currency so if i go to the data layer you'll be able to see e-commerce dot 
currency so currency is inside e-commerce object okay so this is how we can read data layer and create all the necessary data layer variables okay perfect so we have created all the necessary variables then we will go to the trigger section we'll create a trigger for add to cart event so i'm going to click on new and name the trigger as add to cart trigger okay perfect then i'm going to choose trigger configuration as custom event and i'll go to the data layer section and if you see the event name is add to cart so i'm going to copy the exact naming sequence from here and paste it in the event name section okay perfect then i'm going to click on save then i will create tags okay so i'll be clicking on new then i'll name the tag as facebook add to cart event then i'm going to choose tag configuration and i'm going to choose facebook pixel from here and i have created a constant variable for facebook pixel so i'm going to choose it from here and from the standard section i'm going to choose add to cart okay then i'll click on object properties i need to give some property name and property value you know so i'm gonna take this one event name and i'll be using this one as first property name so event name would be add to cart because the event name is add to cart okay i'm gonna paste add to cart over here and the next property name would be content type so i'm gonna copy it from here and paste it over here and content type would be product so i'm gonna copy product from here and paste it over here then next property name i'm gonna be using is content name so content name is basically product name or item name so i'm gonna choose data layer variable item name dlv from here okay then next parameter name is content ids so i'm gonna copy content ids from here and paste it in the property name section and i have created a data layer variable for content id so i'm gonna choose item ids from here then i'm gonna copy value from here and paste it in the property name section and i have created a data layer variable for value so i'm gonna choose item value from here and last of all i will be copying currency from here and paste it in the property name section and i have also created a data layer variable for item currency so i'm going to choose it from here and in the triggering section i'm going to be choosing it as add to cut trigger so i'll click on save so we have created a tag for facebook add to cut event so let's check whether this a tag is working or not so for checking i'm going to click on preview just wait a little bit i'm going to click on continue then i'm going to choose one of the products for example i'm going to be choosing this one and i'm going to add this product to the cart Okay, let's go to the tag assistant section and see whether our event has fired or not. I'll click on add to cart again. Okay, so you can see over here Facebook add to cart event has fired. Okay, perfect then if i go to the add to cart section and if i go to the variable section then you will see event name is add to cart facebook pixel is this one item currency is usd so if i go to the product 
then you can see the product currency is in usd okay then item currency is usd okay item id 229 item name blue denim shorts so if i go to the item name section you can see over here blue denim shorts and the product value is 130 dollar so if i go to the value section you can see item value is 130 dollars so everything is working fine everything is working properly okay so this is how we can set up facebook add to cut event you know so yeah that's it for this video hopefully you have liked our video if you like our video then you can subscribe our channel follow our page you have a good day bye bye